For over a century, executive aviation lived under a seemingly immutable rule. Either you choose speed and comfort in elegant jets flying at 50,000 feet, or you opt for the versatility of turboprops that can land practically anywhere. It was a binary choice, almost philosophical. Luxury versus practicality, speed versus access. No aircraft had managed to break this dogma until now. If you're also passionate about the world of aviation, consider subscribing to the channel and supporting our team. The executive jet aircraft market, valued in the billions of dollars, was structured in well-defined categories. On one side, jets like the Cessna Citation CJ-4 and Embraer Phenom 300 dominated with their elegant interiors, speeds exceeding 330 miles per hour, or 530 kilometers per hour, and the ability to fly at altitudes where turbulence is just a distant memory. On the other, turboprops like the venerable Pilatus PC-12 won hearts and minds with their unique ability to operate on dirt, grass, or gravel runways, places where not even the smallest jets would dare touch their wheels. But something was being designed in Swiss laboratories that would change this century-old logic. In the mid-2000s, while the executive aviation world followed its traditional rules, engineers at Pilatus Aircraft in Stans, Switzerland, worked in absolute secrecy on a project that would sound somewhat impossible. The goal was quite audacious, create a light jet that would not only match its competitors in speed and altitude, but also preserve the legendary ruggedness of its predecessor, the PC-12. The aircraft's development was conducted using the company's own funds, first mentioned in Pilatus's annual report in May 2011. It was a calculated risk investment, based on a perception that few in the market could see. There was demand for this almost secret niche for an aircraft that combined the impossible. PC-12 customers, which had already become a phenomenon with over 1,600 units delivered, began expressing a seemingly contradictory desire. They loved the versatility of their turboprop, but dreamed of greater speed and the ability to fly above 30,000 feet. They wanted to keep the famous rear cargo door that allowed carrying everything from medical equipment to art pieces, but desired to reach their destination with the elegance and speed of a jet. On May 21, 2013, during the European Business Aviation Convention and Exhibition in Geneva, Switzerland, the Pilatus PC-24 was revealed to the public. The auditorium fell silent for a few seconds before erupting in animated conversations. There was the promise, the super versatile jet, an aircraft that promised to be capable of opening thousands of landing sites inaccessible to any other executive jet. The market's reaction was immediate and surprising. In just 36 hours after the announcement, 84 aircraft from the first batch had already been contracted, a record that demonstrated Pilatus had correctly identified an unmet market need. Market interest was so strong that orders already equaled three years of production. But behind the initial enthusiasm, a question persisted. Would it be possible to actually deliver on this promise without significant compromises? To understand the magnitude of the challenge Pilatus had set it for itself, it's essential to know the PC-12's legacy. Launched in the early 1990s, this turboprop had completely revolutionized the concept of utility aviation. With its distinctive rear cargo door, a feature borrowed from military transport aircraft, the PC-12 could transport everything from executives to patients on stretchers, industrial equipment, or humanitarian supplies. The PC-12 was known for three main characteristics that differentiated it from any competitor. Operational simplicity that allowed a single pilot to fly safely, low operating costs that made sense even for smaller companies, and mainly minimal airport infrastructure requirements. While other executive aircraft required paved and long runways, 
the PC-12 landed comfortably on adapted soccer fields. With its first flight on May 31, 1991, the PC-12 had become the gold standard for missions requiring extreme versatility. Emergency medical service operators, oil companies operating in remote regions, and even governments using the aircraft for special missions all had found in the PC-12 a solution that simply didn't exist anywhere else. But the PC-12 success created an interesting dilemma for Pilatus. Many existing PC-12 customers were interested in upgrading to newer versions, but also demanded greater speed and altitude, characteristics that only a jet could offer. The company faced a strategic crossroads. Developing a classic executive jet would mean entering direct competition with established manufacturers like Cessna and Embraer, who had dominated the market for decades with quality products and consolidated support networks. It was a battlefield where being just another one meant almost certain failure. The genius of Pilatus' decision was realizing they didn't need to be another one, they could be the only one. Thus was born the concept of an aerial crossover, a jet that preserved the revolutionary advantages of landing on unpaved runways, combined with the performance and altitude that only jet engines could offer. When the first PC-24 prototype finally left the hangar in 2014, it carried the weight of fierce competition. The central question that had tormented the Swiss engineers was seemingly simple, but technically brutal how to make a jet land safely on surfaces that would destroy any other aircraft in its category. The answer came through innovations that would transform the PC-24 into the only jet in its class capable of operating on grass, gravel, or packed dirt runways. In the fourth quarter of 2018, the aircraft was certified by European and American authorities to land and take off from dry sand or gravel runways, a certification no competitor had ever achieved. The landing gear was completely reinvented. Unlike the delicate systems found in conventional jets, every component was reinforced and redesigned. The tires operate at slightly reduced pressure to increase contact area and reduce ground pressure while special pneumatic shock absorbers absorb impacts that would leave other aircraft in maintenance for weeks. But the real genius was in the less obvious details. The double-slotted Fowler flaps not only serve to improve lift, but function as aerodynamic mud guards, protecting the engines from debris kicked up during operations on unprepared runways. It's the kind of elegant solution that only emerges when engineers need to solve problems nobody else has faced. With a balanced field takeoff length of just 2,690 feet, 820 meters, and a landing distance over a 50-foot obstacle of 2,525 feet, 770 meters, the PC-24 demonstrated stall, short takeoff and landing capabilities that rival specialized turboprops. To put these numbers in perspective, while most light jets need runways of at least 3,940 feet, 1,200 meters, the PC-24 can comfortably operate at aerodromes that many would consider inadequate even for smaller aircraft. It's a difference that literally opens thousands of previously inaccessible destinations for executive jet operators. Inherited from the PC-12 and perfected for the jet world, the PC-24's massive rear cargo door measures an impressive 51 inches high by 49 inches wide. It's also the only aircraft in its class with a pallet-sized door, allowing the loading of equipment that simply doesn't fit in other light jets. The reinforced floor and 88 cubic feet 2.5 cubic meters rear cargo compartment can accommodate up to 2,500 pounds, 1,134 kilograms of equipment with seats removed. It's a capability that transforms the PC-24 from a simple executive transport into a versatile operational tool. Air ambulances can carry stretchers and heavy medical equipment. Mining companies can transport samples and specialized tools and humanitarian operators can bring essential supplies to remote areas. 
but perhaps most impressive is the speed with which this transformation can happen. The seats can be completely removed in less than 30 minutes, allowing the same aircraft to serve as executive transport in the morning and cargo plane in the afternoon. More recently, CEO Marcus Butcher announced an improvement program that included over 1,000 modifications throughout the aircraft, focusing on greater range, increased payload, improved comfort, and enhanced operability. The Williams FJ44-4 engines, providing 3,420 pounds of thrust each, with capacity for 3,600 pounds in automatic power reserve mode, represents a carefully calculated compromise between efficiency and power but it's the QPM, Quiet Power Mode system, that really differentiates the PC-24. Instead of a traditional auxiliary power unit, APU, the right engine can operate at 75% idle speed, providing electrical power and air conditioning even before complete startup. The Honeywell Advanced Cockpit Environment ACE Avionic System, based on Primus Epic 2, represents technology typically found only in much larger and more expensive aircraft like Gulfstream models. Bank Angle Limit Protection provides tactile feedback to the side stick when the angle approaches 49 degrees, 51 degrees, automatically pushing back to 31 degrees. These are systems that allow safe single pilot operation, reducing operating costs without compromising safety. With 501 cubic feet of internal volume, the PC-24's cabin is larger than most light jets, positioning itself between the light and medium business jet categories. For operators receiving their new PC-24s from the third quarter of 2024, a new cabin information system with high-fidelity speakers, touchscreen control, and new controllable colored lighting is available as an option. The 21 by 14 inch windows are among the largest in their class, and the optional three-person sofa can serve as a 6 foot 6, 2 meter bed. The finish, described as exemplary of Swiss craftsmanship, obsessively focuses on quality and details that make a difference on long flights. However, this versatility comes at a price in compromises. The forward lavatory, although the first in its class to offer complete external service with a vacuum system, requires a complex procedure involving closing sliding doors and retracting a seat to ensure privacy. Due to space optimization, the aircraft generally lacks a full gallery, limiting the ability to serve elaborate meals on long flights. With a list price between $10 to $11 million, the PC-24 costs significantly more than direct competitors like the Citation CJ-4, about $9 million. It's not just a matter of premium positioning, it's the real cost of engineering that defies conventions. Surprisingly, the PC-24 achieves this with a cabin significantly larger than its competitors, demonstrating that the additional price isn't just about unique capabilities, but also about superior space and comfort. For operators who need to access unpaved runways quickly, the PC-24 is simply the only option available. It's the cost of unique capability, something that would require two different aircraft from any competitor. And perhaps that's exactly what makes this aircraft not just special, but truly revolutionary, proof that sometimes breaking century-old rules is worth every penny invested in engineering the impossible.